Virgo, hi. Uh, sorry for the delay, but um, I'm here and I'm fresh <laughs> and I can do this now. Uh, so this is going to be a reading for September 30th through uh, October 6th and I'm being, uh, I said I'm going to do it. I didn't say how. Uh, I'll be taking a look into your uh, recent past. Your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling a uh, final tip from the universe card for you. So, uh, these are general readings. They may not resonate with all of you. Uh, if they do, I do have an extended. Taking a look into how your partner feels. Um, what else was I going to say? Huh. I don't know. I'm already uh, getting into your energy. I kind of... I got some uh, messages from you guys that you're not feeling... You're feeling a little ungrounded, which is not Virgo-like. Um, we'll see. Maybe it's the shift that affects pretty much all of us from uh, your season. I know. So, let's take a look, Virgo. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. You guys got me into this whole hmm kind of energy. So, let's see. Huh, okay. Uh, way to start the reading, Virgo. Tower moment. Alright, so the overall energy for this reading is the star. Um, I feel like you're dealing with something that is very, very important to you. I feel like that's a person right there. Somebody that you want to be with. Somebody that's... Somebody, somebody that's everything you ever wished for, pretty much. In your um, recent past, you get the Tower, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Something happens, something that confused you, something that is keeping you unbalanced, something that's um, keeping you in your headspace a lot, and you don't like that. Uh, not in the way this is happening. You're thinking about whatever this is. It's looking like it, it has given you a, um, a little bit of a false sense of happiness, or uh, kind of like something happened and you thought it was going to be good, but it turned out not to be so good. I'm going to have to clarify that tower to see what that's about, but it's, it's, it wasn't, it wasn't good for you and I'm feeling it and I don't, I don't like it. Okay. Um, in your current energy sphere, you get the magician, the queen of pentacles and the knight of wands. You are manifesting this person. You're thinking about them, you miss them, you want them, and they are also, you two are manifesting each other. You're coming towards each other here, energetically at least. Um, in your immediate future, you get the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Emperor. This, I feel like it's you, the King of Wands here. I feel like this is you standing up there in your throne, kind of like recognizing what this connection is, wanting it, but kind of waiting for things to happen. Not in the sense that you're not taking action at all. You're doing stuff, but um, it's kind of like I did my part, so now let's see what happens. It's painful for you to wait and see what happens. But I feel like it's gonna it's gonna come with benefits and um, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be strong. And if this is the person that you're wanting in your life, they're coming, but they're only coming when they feel secure enough, when they feel strong enough, when they feel like they can offer you something tangible here. All right. And that's why it may take them a little bit because they're not quite in this energy yet. Let me see, uh, let's clarify. Let me see the star there. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, there you are, right here. Being the empress that you are, being all Virgo, being confident, being like, I got this. Feeling still a little burden here, like you do in your immediate future. Um, but in regards to this connection, it's looking like you want this, but you can't have it right now. And you know this, you know that this is not lost completely. But you're going through a little bit of pain while waiting for this to, to happen, for this connection here. Let me do the tower, because that's the first one that jumped out. Yeah, it came in strong. Virgo, the tower is clarified by the tower. The king of cups and the hermit here. There's a lot of love in between you and this person here. This is you right here, being all Virgo. You know, thinking about things. and But there's a lot of love here from your person, whoever they are. They love you a lot. So if you doubt that, don't. But something happened in between you two that made you think all of the negative possible things that could ever happen and I don't feel it as even though it's tower twice I don't feel that it was something so major to put you in that position I think you went there and you don't know how you got there and um, yeah something did happen but not as major as you made it look in your head at least let me see this eight of swords Let's see what that's about. Well, that's major if that happened. I'm kind of, I kind of got this sense oh god okay so I kind of got the sense from this kind of like I, I hope to god none of you went through that but uh, it, it's kind of looking like you have the wedding planned you're at the altar and your person's not showing up kind of thing that's what it's looking like for me there. And that's major. If that happened, again, I hope to God it didn't happen to any of you. But that's the sense I'm getting. Kind of like your person left with no words, with no nothing. And it left you into this what the hell just happened. Because this, this looked like it was a committed connection here. Uh, you know, a very solid one. So what the hell happened? And from there you went and made it a little bit worse than what it actually was because this was bad but you made it a little worse that's the sense I'm getting for some reason in your head I mean you know your thoughts and all of that let me see the six of wands <clears throat> So after all of this happened, I feel like your person came back uh, and offered you some sort of a, you know, white flag kind of thing, but you didn't trust it. You were either too hurt or too, it made you happy that, you know, um, things got settled down in between the two of you, but you didn't fully trust this person to... You know, with this Ace of Cups here and the Devil attached to it, I see you not fully, fully trusting it, you know. God, Virgo. Yeah, okay. Now I get it. It feels heavy what happened. It hit you and it sent you into this dark place that it was hard for you to come back out of. And this person coming back actually 
raised your energy level a little bit you were feeling good about it you were feeling like yeah okay but I don't think you took it maybe some of you did but let's see let's see this magician here let's see what they're cooking up So, yeah, uh, you do see this um, happening again, this connection, okay? And you want this because you're manifesting there with the magician. However, um, I think you're still dealing with whatever happened here in the past with this connection. You're still dealing with that. So you're not quite ready, but you're putting it out there for whenever you're done with dealing with the past. You can come and work on this again, because I do see the two of you getting, you know, coming towards each other here. But you're, I feel like you're not ready and you know that. You know, deep down you, you know that. Like, this is gonna happen, okay, you got that part down, but not quite yet. You know? Uh, let me see this King of Wands here, in your immediate future. Yeah, you you and your person are gonna ha are gonna have a talk. Are gonna talk about uh, how to start restart this connection. How to put in the work in it and make it work and make it happy because you know it's gonna get there. Your person knows it's gonna get there, but there's gonna be a lot of back and forth here, communication about how to make this happen. You know, you two had it before, so you know you're gonna get there. You still need to talk about possibly what happened in the past there. Somebody made a mistake in the past, a drastic one. And they're realizing it. And I feel like it's your person and I feel like you're kind of dealing right now with whether you should give them another chance or not. Whether you should forgive them for what they did. And I feel like you are going to. Let me see the Emperor. Because this, I think it's them. Yeah, they're, they're dealing with... You two are mirroring each other. Uh, they're dealing with the same thing. They're, um, if they were the one that messed up, they're dealing with their own, you know, cleaning up their mess kind of energy here, I'm feeling like. And they may not know how to do that. They want to. I see the determination there. I see, I see them wanting to. But I don't think they know how to do it, how to get to this energy where this is a person that knows how to clean up their mess, how to assume, how to fix things. They're not quite there yet. They are acknowledging what happened in the past. I feel like they don't know how to, how to fix things yet. They will. It's gonna take time and you know that and you're giving them that time. And I feel like through the two of you communicating and talking about it might help them. You know, if they're asking for help, it might help them. But you're going to be the one that's going to know exactly. Um, you know, if it doesn't feel right for you, then just stay back. And they're, they're, they're going to figure it out regardless. You know, with your help or without it. But not happening yet. Let me pull up a uh, final tip from the universe card for you. Yeah, you, you took a blow, Virgo, here, and you're kind of stepping back and thinking, I think you know this connection is the one for you, but you are hurt, and you're trying to get out of that place. And I feel like you're doing it. It's just going to take some time, so, you know. Try to be patient about it. Um, 
Let's see what the universe has to say. You're, um... <clears throat> Um, you're going to get to this energy slowly but surely, you know, where uh, you'll know exactly what to do about the situation, you'll know how to handle it, uh, and I feel like for some reason I'm kind of getting the, the sense that you're, you're putting this whole, oh, I need to leave them because they heard me, you're putting this, uh, you know, on a top shelf there and you're kind of sticking to it. And this kind of energy where you're thinking, I feel it's a lot of ego involved in here, where you're thinking that, oh, they hurt me, and uh, no, I'll never forgive them, or things like that. That kind of energy, I, th I feel like it's going to end. You're going to get past that, and you're going to be more uh, analytical, more practical about whatever it is you want to do in this situation. Because this, I feel a lot of ego with it. Not usually, but for this specific reading, I'm kind of getting some ego with this card. And it's coming to an end. You're done with that. You know, feeling like... You're not going to forgive them because they hurt you and this is never going to happen again. It may not, but you'll know. You'll get to this energy where you'll know. And it's not going to be out of ego. It's going to be because you looked within and you kind of looked at everything and you put them into some sort of a your little scale there and you'll know exactly which direction you want to go with this person you'll get there so just give your t yourself some time and I know it sucks I feel the energy of it like it's heavy and um, it sucks so uh, this is what I have for you if this resonated the the extended is in the description box and I'll see you next time.